Hey guys, so I saw this and I thought it was pretty hilarious to share. So you got Tulare Community College saying everyone should go out and vote. Uh, you know that the majority of people who want you to vote, they are assuming you're going to vote for them, for their political candidate. And when you vote for a opposing, so it doesn't take a genius to figure out, obviously Tulare is a huge, huge lefty. And he wanted to uh, Camilla Harris to win. Well, that uh, didn't happen. Uh, Camilla Harris did not win. Donald Trump won essentially by a landslide. And it was uh, pretty brutal for Camilla Harris, including my backyard neighbor. He, he had like a panic attack yesterday. Uh, it was weird to see. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Probably one of the most weird things I've ever seen. But do people do feel very strongly uh, about this situation, and rightfully so, right? It is going to be for the next four years. And yeah, so here you, you got to learn community college saying, yeah, everyone, let's go out and vote. Vote if you have power. You use it to meet the needs of your community for all the imperfections and failing. Your vote is still power, and it matters today more than ever. Use your power Stand with your family and your community and vote. And obviously, he's telling you to vote if you vote for Camilla Harris. Now, if somebody votes for, I don't know, Donald Trump and tweets him an image of this, well, he's not going to like this. Uh, he's not going to like this one bit. In fact, he will block you because he is upset. A, a lot of people are quite upset. Uh, this has 102K views. A lot of people are very, very upset. Uh, and they're talking about ballots. T Tulane Community College has blocked me on Twitter because he used to have this blank attitude that Arena was fake magic. And I tried to show him that his friends on Arena were brewing up a community of people who would kind of just bully Arena players at the start of COVID. I showed him legit evidence screenshots of people in his thread calling Arena fake magic in arena players posers and he just blocked me dude is a softy vote but only for the candidate i endorse everyone else is not worth it he's a big trans supporter for some reason these people have convinced themselves or the media has convinced them that trump is going to have thousands of government agents rounding up trans gays and minority bunch of narcissists no one gives enough a shit about you to come after you live your life and you will be fine and then there's a discussion on trans also take this lesson on to your next hobby gatekeeping is important i played magic well before these mutants and parasites invaded and they destroyed the hobby immune systems are important when you find something good keep the viruses out unfortunately it is too late for mtg a lot of people have a lot of different things, but you know, I, I've seen this a million times, right? Where people say, go vote, go vote, go vote. And you guys are not saying like, go vote for the candidate you want. They're saying, go vote for my candidate. If you don't vote for my candidate, right? I mean, you kind of get it, right? It, it's not a terribly difficult thing to really understand what's happening here is uh, based on People, people being upset. I mean, my neighbor, my backyard neighbor is incredibly upset. He was screaming and yelling like last night in the backyard over uh, Donald Trump. I mean, people are upset. And they are upset, man. Um, what can I say, man? The, the, it's, it's a big po politics is a lot. And they were banking on Camilla Harris just, just blowing everything up and just uh, getting there, you know. But unfortunately, Kamara Harris was a poor candidate, in my opinion. The Democrats could have picked someone better with more experience and that uh, was, I guess, more qualified. Uh, and, you know, how do you even know if she's the most qualified individual? Because you didn't even have like the, what was it called when they all were, the Democrats? Like, just were, it was like last time it was the Andrew Yang versus Bernie Sanders versus Pete Buttigieg versus Camilla Harris versus... Um, Amy Kolog, there was like a bunch of them. They didn't have that this time, and they, they, the excuse is, "Oh, we don't have time to do it." Well, you you picked Camilla Harris. I mean, yikes.
It was a blowout, man. It wasn't even close this time around. It, like, you know, like Hillary and versus Donald. I remember it being a lot closer than this. But anyway, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.